Um, I'm just leaving work and I have a full day today. I don't know how I feel about that. I have an article for the final call that I was contacted about yesterday. So I'm gonna get started on that today. Me and my sister are also going to cook because leftovers are getting pretty low. So we're gonna cook for iftar tonight, which is basically when we break fast for the month of Ramadan. So that's basically what I need to get done um, today. So I just wanted to do a vlog, show you guys what it's you know like as a freelance journalist as I did something similar to that a few months back. And yeah, so just like a little days in the life sort of vlog vlog. people that I reached out to for this article thus far so I'm gonna walk you through basically how I set up kind of like um, a base to kind of help me keep track of everybody who I reached out to um, contacts notes articles um, people all of my interviews and stuff like that so I use Google Drive, I absolutely love Google Drive. Okay, so this is basically my Google Drive. Um, so I have different folders, of course. These ones here I need to organize, but um, I go to freelance writing, then I go to the final call, and then I go to, of course, the year. And then I'm going to create a new folder, this folder going to be Arbery shooting death. So within this folder, I create different documents. Um, I usually do the first one that I do, well, just to help me like organize everything. I do an article one. This is where I'm actually going to write the article. Um, so I'm not worried about that one right now. Um, and then I'm going to do one for interviews. And then I'm going to do another one for notes and research. And then once I reload, all of them are there. Okay, so we're at the store now. Um, basically, I was able to secure a good amount of interviews. Um, so that's one of the things about being like on freelance you're and just being out and about like you're communicating with different people with your phone throughout the day no matter like what you're doing so i've been communicating with people through facebook because that's how i found a lot of the people that i want to interview um so now we're just going to the store picking up some groceries so that we can cook for tonight and you know the days to come um but yeah but as the day goes along we're just going to be communicating with different people so let's go
was just getting my day started um, and I went on ahead made a to-do list all that great stuff so I was able to secure two interviews yesterday um, which I'm going to do today I also have someone else giving me a statement um, so I'm going to be waiting to get that and then what I'm going to do is I want to get one or two more interviews um, so that is what we're going to be working on today the good thing is that yesterday was really about securing interviews for today today is going to be all interviewing and then tomorrow i want to focus on writing um my actual segment and i realized i didn't actually share with you guys what the article is about so i'm writing about a 25 year old black man who was killed um back in february it was on february 23rd um and he was killed in brunswick georgia and basically he was running in this white neighborhood um and these two well this one white man saw him and so he went inside he got his son they got some guns they tracked him down in the end they killed him so i'm not writing the main article so i'm just helping to get some interviews writing a little segment of it and then they're going to add it to the larger piece so that is what the article is i'm interviewing someone who is running for office so i'm going to talk to her about basically the history of racism in Georgia and in the South and how they've been hand and how it's been handled by the legal system um, and then I'm going to talk to someone else who has really been pushing the story forward and who's really calling for people to reach out to the authorities and uh, politicians offices um, so that they can get some kind of justice um so he's really kind of been one of the people on the forefront um so i'm going to talk to him and then i also was um reached out to this lady who also really has been pushing for there to be more attention brought to the story and um she told me that she you know has a son and you know saying things like that is very makes her scared for her son so um she didn't think that you know she should be interviewed for it but you know there's a lot of black mothers out there who fear or have fear when they see these sorts of things black mothers who have young black sons um because they have a fear that these kinds of things can happen to them um, so I told her that, you know, your voice, the way that you feel, and all of that is important. Um, and a lot of people can relate to it. So she's going to be sending me a statement. Um, so yeah, that's what the story is about. And um, just helping to get some interviews. I'm trying to get a lawyer who I've interviewed a few other times. <sighs> I texted him yesterday. And I haven't gotten a response, so I'm going to have to reach out to him again today. So some of tomorrow, like beginning tomorrow, might be interviews too, um, depending on when some people are available. Um, we'll see. But I'd rather knock them all out today so that I can focus on writing tomorrow. So that's the plan. <laughs> um, and yeah. Sure, do you know around what time? Okay, all right. Thank you. You have reached the voicemail box of At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Uh, it just seems to the fact that we 
I just wanted to come up on here and do a little update it is now several I won't say several okay it's several weeks later <laughs> from the footage that you saw before um, in the first part I was working on an article on Amon Arbery um, and that was part of a larger piece as I explained before um, and that piece came out and then that next week around like May 8th ish I was working on a follow-up piece um, which was also added to another article so um, since then a lot has happened in the case um, I wasn't able to help with an article this past week on that particular case but a lot has happened so I just wanted to check in with you guys let you know to stay up on it um, keep reading about it keep uh, paying attention to what's happening because there are a lot of moving parts a lot of different things that are coming out um, so just pay attention to what's going on with that and of course a whole bunch of other things. I am a journalist who is learning a lot as I go along. I'm learning a lot in the world of broadcast as I am a producer. I'm learning a lot in the field of writing um, as I am a freelancer. So um, you know there's a lot to learn and I just really like sharing with you guys what I do now. Um, and then of course as I learn more as I learn better then I can show you guys different things and better things and more things so um, Doing these kinds of vlogs is really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video Of course make sure that you like comment and subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see <laughs> Have a good one